All right, for this homework assignment, it's gonna be a little bit different. You're gonna need a paper plate, a ruler, and three colored pens or pencils. You're gonna take your plate, your ruler, you're gonna put your ruler down the middle. You don't have to be exact. And you're going to make a line. Turn it 90 degrees. Do the same thing, so you want another line, and it's gonna be perpendicular to the first line, and you want it to be down the middle as best as you can. Again, don't try to be perfect, just make it good enough. So you should have a plate, looks kinda like this. I'll move it around, move the camera around so you can see it throughout the thing. On the right side, and it doesn't matter what the right side is, you're gonna put the letter X, because this is the X axis. And on the top, you're gonna to put the letter Y because this is the Y axis. All right, now we're gonna start labeling our degrees. So inside here, I want you to put on top of the line zero degrees. Go over here, I want you to put 90 degrees. Over here, right below the line, I'm gonna to try to make a pattern with the degrees, 180 degrees. And then we have zero, 90, 180. This must be 270 degrees. And this is our very special angle because it has two main numbers. This is also, and this is gonna get confusing, but that's okay, 360 degrees, okay? So make sure your plate looks like this, zero, 90, 180, 270, 360, there's an X, there's a Y. All right, now with the same color, we're gonna start doing our radians, which is something that we introduced in class today. Now, normally we're gonna put the radians on the other side, but zero and 360 are bunched up here. So we're gonna write zero radians right here. Okay, zero degrees is zero radians. And over here, right above the 180, 180 degrees is pi radians, so make a pi symbol. All right, well, if this is zero, and this is pi, and this is halfway between zero and pi, then this must be pi over two. So right next to the 90 degrees, make it pi over two. Now, if this is zero, and this is one pi over two, then this has to be two pi over two, which means down here has to be three pi over two. And if this is zero, this is one pi over two, this is two pi over two, this is three pi over two, then this must be four pi over two, which we're gonna write two pi. All right, back to your ruler, pick another color. You are now going to make a straight line diagonally as even as you can through the plate, through quadrant one and quadrant three. We want it at a 45 degree angle as best as possible. So halfway between the X and the Y axis with another color, make a straight line all the way down. Okay, doesn't need to be perfect. You can see that mine is not. We're gonna do the same thing between quadrants two and four. We need another angle that would be kinda equal to 45 degrees, but it won't be, you'll find out later. 45 degrees, straight through the middle of quadrants two and three, and so now we should have this really cool pattern on our plate, as you can see, with two other colors, okay? So let's go back to degrees, oopsies, and let's not fall over. If, this is zero degrees, this is 90 degrees, halfway between zero and 90, that must be 45 degrees. Now if this is zero degrees, and this is 45 degrees, and 45 plus 45 is 90, then 90 plus 45 must be 135 degrees. Let's keep adding by 45. 135 plus 45 is 180, 180 plus 45 is 225. 
225 plus 45 is 270. 270 plus 45 is 315 degrees. And 315 plus 45 is 360. So those are my degrees for my 45s in green. Now let's do our radians. Now if this was zero radians and 90 degrees is pi over two radians and 45 degrees is halfway between zero and pi over two, then half of pi over two must be pi over four. So if this is zero, this is one pi over four, this is two pi over four, this must be three pi over four, this is four pi over four, this is five pi over four, this is five pi over four, so this is gonna be six pi over four, simplified. Six pi over four plus pi over four is seven pi over four, and then this should be eight pi over four, which it is, simplified. Okay, back to your ruler and your last color. Here's the tricky part. It doesn't need to be perfect, but you need to take your ruler between zero and 45 degrees, you need to make, put your ruler. It needs to go between zero and 45 degrees and it has to go through the origin. But you can't put it halfway. You cannot put it halfway between zero and 45. You need to put it a little closer to 45 degrees and straight through the origin to the other side. So between zero and 45, which is covered by the ruler right now, not halfway, a little closer to 45 degrees, draw a line straight through the origin out the other side, okay? Should look like this. It's between zero, it's between 45, it's not halfway between, it's a little closer to 45. Straight through the origin means it's a little closer to 225. We're gonna do another line, same deal. Between 45 and 90, we're going to make, hold on one second. Sorry about that, someone was at the door. Between 45 and 90 degrees, we're gonna put our ruler straight through the origin, but we're not gonna put it halfway between 45 and 90. We're gonna put it a little closer to 45 degrees, straight through the origin, and out the other side, okay? So now we have, surrounding this green line of 45 degrees is two purple lines, and down here, surrounding this green line, two purple lines, all right? We're gonna do the same thing in quadrants two and four. We need to put our ruler between the blue and the green, but closer to the green. Between the blue and the green, but closer to the green, all right? So that means closer to 135, straight through the origin, out the other side. On the other side of 135, but closer to 135, not halfway between 135, and 180 and straight out the other side. It doesn't need to be perfect. You can see my origin isn't perfect. Don't worry about that, okay? So, it should look like this. Okay, let's start in quadrant one. This angle right here is 30 degrees. This angle here is 60 degrees. We're only gonna count the zeros, the 30s, the 60s, the 90s. We're not counting the 45s right now. Okay, so 0, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, all right, keep counting by 30s, 180, 210, 210 plus 30 is 240, 240 plus 30 is 270, 270 plus 30 is 300, 300 plus 30 is 330, and 330 plus 30 is 360, okay? 0, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, 210, 240, 270, 300, 330, 360, skipping the 45, 135, 225, 315, okay? All right, now the radians. 30 degrees is pi over 6. 60 degrees is 
pi over 3. Notice the 30 is a pi over 6, and the 60 is a pi over 3. Okay, we're going to count by pi over 6s, though. 0, 1 pi over 6, 2 pi over 6, 3 pi over 6, 4 pi over 6 simplifies to 2 pi over 3. 5 pi over 6, 6 pi over 6, 7 pi over 6. 8 pi over 6 simplifies to 4 pi over 3. 8 pi over 6, 9 pi over 6. 10 pi over 6 simplifies to 5 pi over 3. 10 pi over 6, 11 pi over 6, and finally 2 pi. Okay, so one last time. Your whole plate in radians, 0, pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3, pi over 2. 2 pi over 3, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 6, pi. 7 pi over 6, 5 pi over 4, 4 pi over 3, 3 pi over 2. 5 pi over 3, 7 pi over 4, 11 pi over 6, 2 pi. All right? Here's what your plate should look like. Feel free to go back and review. There'll be another video on the x's and 